Welcome back to Sports Edge. Joining us now, two of Yale's finest athletes. We have uh, Aurora Kennedy, the captain of the women's hockey team, and Tyler Varga, uh, former football player, getting ready to uh, move on both in your careers. But before you guys do that, a big week this week in the Yale community. Uh, Mandy Schwartz, who was a, a hockey player uh, some years back, uh, fought a courageous battle with leukemia and ended up losing that battle. But this week, it's the uh, bone marrow drive again in her honor. You want to talk a little bit about that, Tyler? Yeah, so we're holding the, uh, the Mandy Schwartz marrow drive uh, to basically uh, enter um, people into the database for um, Be The Match, which is a, an organization that matches um, you know, normal people like, like you and I and Aurora here um, to leukemia patients to basically um, you know, save their lives and help them win the fight against cancer. And we're holding that um, Thursday at Commons Dining Hall at, on Yale's campus from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Who's eligible? Who should come out and, and get swabbed? And, and, it, and it's not an, a hard thing to do, is it? No, it's really easy. And you just have to be 1844 in any type of good health. Um, we're just encouraging anyone that can come out to come and you know, be a part of the Be The Match registry. There's been a, actually a lot of matches at Yale, so we're really lucky to be able to have helped the community and be able to help um, people with blood cancers. And, and Tyler, this was initially done to try to save uh, Mandy's life. Unfortunately, uh, no match was found for Mandy, but uh, there have been a lot of matches. Talk about how many matches have been had yeah, just within the Yale community. Sort of like mysteriously, we've had a lot of matches actually within the football team specifically. We've had three coaches who are on the staff right now be matched, save lives. We had two players who are graduated at this point um, be matched. My roommate actually was matched uh, last year as well, um, you know, so Aurora knows people that have been matched and it's, it's a really cool thing. It's not a, not a difficult process. Basically, you get called, you get a phone call and you go in um, and it's similar, a similar process to getting an IV mm -hmm. in your arm and you, you know, sit there and they take care of you. It's, you know, everybody that's come out of there has, been, has felt really good about themselves, obviously, um, being able to help out and that's a huge thing. You know? and, and Aurora, this started within the, the women's hockey team there. You were part of the team. Just, just talk about you know, what you know about Mandy. I know you knew very little about her, but it seems like, you know, the more time passes, the, the bigger and stronger this whole thing gets. Uh, she obviously must have been a special person. Right, she was. Um, I had the chance to meet her one time. Um, we actually Skyped with her a couple times as well, which is really great. And it was just great to be able to see um, her character and be able to see how, like, hard she would fight and how great of a person she was, because it was never about her. Mm -hmm. It was always just... I want to be able to help other people and I want to be able to find other people matches and and we're still in contact with Mandy's parents Rick mm -hmm. and Carol who um, are both very grateful for everything we've done here and we just want to do as much as we can for Mandy. And a new fun little twist to it this year with the, the, the pie in the face thing or wait, what's going on? You want to share <laughs> yeah, some so, of that? Or? So yeah similar to um, uh, everybody knows the ice bucket challenge right. um, so we, we try to start uh, our own challenge to raise awareness for this year's campaign um, somebody uh, on the women's hockey team had a great idea to do what's called the whip and swab challenge mm -hmm. and basically what it is is uh, you know you have a, a whipped cream like pie in the face and you, you yeah. pie yourself in the face and then you know there's some music that you play in the background and you dance to it so um, a bunch of people have actually uh, kind of caught on to that and hopefully hopefully that's you know, allowed us to generate a little bit more mm -hmm. hype, hype surrounding the event. And, you know, it's all about getting people out, getting people excited about it and, uh, you, know, um, you know, helping people out and trying to save lives. All right, Tyler, Aurora, thanks for coming in and, uh, and, and spreading the word. Hopefully you get a great turnout uh, on Thursday. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.